Hey everyone, I'm Matthew P. Munger, and today I'm going to show you how to batch import item IDs back into the Webflow item itself using Integramat. All right, so here I have a Webflow project set up. I already have a blog in here, and you can see right there is the title of the blog post. I've got some dummy items in here. Okay, and if you want to get one item ID at a time, you can do that by selecting the item here from this list and then up here in the URL, you'll see right here at the end it says item ID equals and this last string of text here, that is actually the item ID. So if you ever need it, you can go and grab each individual item ID that way. But we want to be able to grab a bunch of these at one time and then send them back into the item itself so that it's stored there for other no code tools to access. All right, so going to the collection, we're going to add a plain text field. And then we're going to say, I'm going to just call this put item ID here, please. All right. And let me quickly, oh, do not disturb on. I don't know why that made noise. All right, okay. Where were we? Sorry about that. Okay, so now we have um, that. Let's go ahead and do it as well for the um, categories list. Um, sorry, plain text. And item ID goes here. Save it. Important step here um, before you do anything in Integramat or Zapier, anything other tools like that, is you're going to want to publish. So this will make sure that all of those items and the schema are available and up to date. All right, good to go. Going over here to Integramat, I've already got this set up, um, but what I did was I created a new scenario and I added Webflow. It's the only tool I need for this. And I set the trigger by clicking here. I selected the trigger as Webflow List Collection Items. Okay. And I can actually show you how to do that. So click Webflow. We're going to go List Items, retrieves a list of items for a collection. And it's going to pop up with the options here. And so we've got CMS Multi Refs, is the name of my project. It's already connected there. So we're going to do by selecting the collection ID. So we just have to say, yes, it is this site. Uh, let's do the categories. There are only three posts in this category, so we're going to go um, 20 is our limit for how many items it could get. I know there are only three, but we just want that number to be higher than the actual number of items. OK, so that is set. Um, and then we're going to want our trigger to just be once, because we're just going to run this one time, and that's it. I've got some errors here because I need to. Um, let, let me just delete this. We'll do from scratch. All right, so now our next step in the scenario, we're going to go to Webflow. We're going to want to update item. OK, same site. And categories collection, same collection. OK. And here it's asking which item we want to update. Well, we want to update all of them. So we're going to want to map this to the item ID provide. This is the one provided by Webflow here. So you can see it says updated, created, published, collection ID, item ID. That is the one being provided by the Webflow um, API. Um, this URL here. Um, I know just because it's required field um, for my collection here, so I'm just going to put an image URL in there so we don't get an error. Name, you always have to provide the name, so we're just going to get the name from the list so that will match up, and we're not changing it, so we just want it to stay the same. Um, slug, we don't need to change. Archived and draft, we want to make sure those are off and we want to live update the item yes okay and right here where it says item id goes here this is where we also want to add the item id 
So we're using it to look up the item and then we're adding the ID into that plain text field. All right, we're ready to test this out. So let's run it. It's gonna list those items. All right, and then it says, got a list here and we got bundles. So we got three bundles because there are three items. And then you can see here that it actually output, it updated three items. And we can see success right there. All right, so let's go back over to Webflow. Refresh the page. And we'll be able to see those changes reflected here. So I'll go to categories. I'm going to turn on item goes here field. And there they are. Okay, so now we go over to our blog post, and if we take a look, put item ID here, please, there's still nothing, okay? So let's rinse and repeat the process and add the blog post item IDs. Coffee alarm, very important. All right, this will be pretty quick here. So the cool thing is that this uh, scenario, this flow, you can repeat. So I have 20 blog posts, so I'm just going to make this number higher. Just to make sure we catch everything. Now we're loading our options back up. All right. We don't want to update categories. We want to update blog posts. Yes, that is right. And then I need to do the same thing here for the image images and we're still pulling on the name that's great item ID here please and look we have some sample data now so yep all that is good let me just make sure that I change the collection option here yes I did great so now we're gonna run this and it's gonna update all 20 of those blog posts at once you can see it going through the list there I'll get up to 20 very shortly. All right, so now again, let's refresh. Refreshing the designer and we'll see those changes reflected here. So blog post, again, let's look at that field we added and there are all the item IDs. So now we're set up to, to use these in other no-code tools or even just using the Webflow API. Um, another thing to note on this scenario is that you can actually schedule it. So you could have it run every day and you could say at midnight or something, right? And so you make sure that you always have those item IDs available and ready to you. Um, so that's a quick overview of how to batch import CMS item IDs using Integromat. Hope it helps. Happy designing.